Happy Wednesday, Trade Hackers. Today is Wednesday, April 8th. Starting with the Trade Hacker question of the day, how do I stay patient when trading options? I've been going back and forth with a member about this, and I think it's it's a critical, critical thing to master. Strategies and mechanics, that's about 20 to 30% of what makes up a successful trader. The other part is emotional, it's mental, it's controlling your emotions. When we get into trading options, when we first start trading, everyone wants to make money fast, right? And so what happens is you end up making mistakes. You end up trading too big. You end up placing trades that you don't understand. You end up doing things that are detrimental to your trading account. When we start trading, our goal should not be to make money. And I know that sounds crazy because trading options, trading the markets, it's all about making money, right? Well, guess what? If that's your goal, if you have a specific income goal, if you have a specific asset goal, then you're going to make mistakes that create a situation where you do not reach that goal. I can almost promise you that when you first start trading, if, if that's your goal, if you have a specific monetary goal, the mechanics that it takes to get there are not going to happen because you're going to do things to try to reach that goal that you shouldn't be doing. And so when you first start getting trading, the goal should be to learn the strategies. The goal should be to learn the mechanics. The goal should be to control your emotions. The goal should be able to control your position size. And by doing that and by mastering that and be, be and becoming a master at those things, that is what's ultimately going to allow you to achieve the monetary goals that you really want. But I, I promise you, if you focus on the monetary goals, your trading will, you know, it's not going to, it's not going to end up being the monetary reward that you hope it will. So hopefully that helps. One last thing on that is the other thing that you got to make sure you don't do is do not compare yourself to others. You cannot compare yourself to others. You can't compare, you know, if we, if we post a trade alert showing you how much money we made on a trade and, and you didn't get in on that trade, don't worry. The markets are going to be open for the rest of your life. There's new opportunities every single day when the market's open. So don't, don't try to catch up. Don't try to compare yourself to others. If you see other members in the community posting about how much money they made, do not try to compare to that. Do not try to focus on that. You've got to stick with internally with your mechanics and, and your strategies and your emotions. So hopefully that helps somebody out there who's just getting started. Let's jump into the platform and see what's going on in the markets. Big day up. S&P's up 93. We've got about 30 minutes left to the close. Uh, Dow up 740, NASDAQ up 190, Russell up 63. Big move in oil, oil up over 9%. So oil, you know, bouncing off those lows pretty hard. Bonds down a little bit, gold pretty flat, natty gas down a few percent. So that's what's going on. One point I want to make about this market, uh, and I've been kind of talking about this the last, well, the last couple weeks here as the market's been cranking higher. Do not get sucked in by the stimulus. The administration released a $2.2 trillion stimulus package. They're talking about doing more. Money is not going to cure this coronavirus, right? We are at this stay-at-home order till the end of the month, till April 30th. If the administration comes out and says, we haven't been able to contain it as good as we thought, we're actually pushing that back, I believe the market's going to react negatively, and so be very, very careful. Do not get sucked in by this stimulus. It's all about controlling the coronavirus right now. It's not about how much money we can pump into people. If this stay-at-home order gets extended, you know, the amount of devastation that it's going to be doing to businesses, even on top of the stimulus that they're going to get, is going to be crazy. So keep that in mind. Keep your position size small. In fact, we added some short delta today. And then if it pops up higher, we've been talking about kind of this 2800 level, you know, tomorrow morning, if it pops up again, we're going to add some more short delta to our portfolio. We are looking for this thing to roll back over and potentially hit new lows. So that is the message for the day. Don't get sucked in by the stimulus because, you know, they keep talking about with the COVID-19, with the coronavirus, they keep talking about, you know, this week could be the week that everything peaks, that is the max amount of deaths, the max amount of cases, and we start to go down. But man, I don't know. I just, I would be very, very careful because I think 
part of this rally, I believe, you know, we've, we've been hearing nothing but, I mean, if you can't turn on social media, you can't turn on any news channel, you can't read anything without it being about the coronavirus. And I think a lot of people are kind of becoming numb to that. Uh, and, and, you know, you keep hearing these terms, oh, this is the new normal. This is the new normal. No, it's not. This is not the new normal. You know, this is a situation that we have got to get over for our economy, for the markets to to really rebound. So I do not think that this market is going to continue to rally higher. I absolutely could be wrong, and I will eat my words if I if it happens. But for us, we are planning on you know continuing to add short delta as it goes up for the potential downside. So hopefully that helps. Don't forget, Friday is Good Friday, and I hope everybody has a great Friday. Last day of trading of the week is tomorrow, Thursday. We'll talk to you then.